now this may look like an ordinary speaker to you as you can see doesn't really look any different to any normal speaker but there is something very strange about this speaker something that makes it so it's different to other speakers let's take a look at the back now you can see why it's not an ordinary speaker there is a power switch right here and there is a volume control here that's because this is another homemade amplified speaker yes I took an old cruddy speaker that just been thrown away and I've added an amplifier to it now let's take a little look inside and this is inside the speaker this is the amplifier which I made you can see it uses two big power transistors here and there's another couple of transistors there and a little transistor there as well and it's um yeah pretty happy with that there's the volume control you might be able to see it right there this isn't the volume that's to adjust the bias and up there somewhere is the uh, power switch which I think is right there so now I'm going to show you some of the footage of me building this and um, I guess I'll have to leave it there okay so I've now completed building the amplifier now you can see it closer up and um, this is it, it uses the two 2N3055 power transistors there is a BD139 here and a BD140 here and this one is a um, goodness only knows supposed to use a five, BC547 there but um, this circuit will really allow for any transistor and I've got tons of these so that's alright this is not the volume control this is for adjusting the bias and I'm not going to adjust it because I've got it just right if you turn it to the left it goes faint turn it to the right volume stays the same but it gets distorted so got that at a perfect balance at the moment and on the other side it's not really much there you can see how I've soldered the transistors in and this bit of paper here is where I've got the three diodes that connect the, um, the bases of these two transistors together and the reason why they're there is so that um, when these two transistors get hot they'll heat up the diodes and less current will flow through them meaning less current will flow through these two transistors which also means less current will flow through these two transistors as you can also see I've insulated these two from the heat sinks because if they were electrically connected to the heat sinks they would the whole thing would just short out and not work so now let's um give it a little test the only real drawback to this amplifier is it doesn't like an unregulated supply you may be able to hear it's complaining a bit if i put the microphone up to the speaker you can hear there's quite a lot of hum coming off that so I'm going to have to find a 20 volt regulated supply but anyway let's um, play some music through it so you can hear it for yourself and there we go let's turn the volume up a little bit Driving the microphone, it's so loud. But yeah, that's it. That's the amplifier made and working. Now I just got to put it into a speaker case, and um, 
I guess that'll be that. And here's an example of why today's things suck. I've got this ratchet screwdriver here. I'm trying to unscrew a thing. See that? I'm turning the thing and the stupid ratchet don't work. Works when you try to screw it in, but when you try to unscrew it, only works when it wants to. Seems to be working now, but... Don't buy cheap tools, people. That's the message here.